All right. So Lynn, someone who's just starting out, right? Like they hear us talking, they want to be successful with their cooking. They haven't cooked before. So they decide to go to the grocery store. What are like your top three things that they should probably purchase that they're not used to doing anything healthy to kick the habit? What should they get? Well, you, you know that I believe in yeast flakes. They're easy. They're not expensive. They sprinkle on top of everything and you can turn a dish that maybe isn't so fabulous or maybe isn't so completely nutritious into a nutritious, yummy dish. And they, they taste a lot like Parmesan cheese, which, you know, who doesn't love Parmesan cheese? You can sprinkle it on, well, nutritional yeast flakes work the same way. And you don't have to broil them and get a, you know, crispy top. They just, they're a great little thing. And cabbage uh, is so ordinary and so wonderful, sliced really thin a million different ways. Uh, one of my favorite ways is under half a shrimp burrito that I've gotten from my local taqueria when, when I treat myself to take out food. I'll throw some nice shaved cabbage underneath it and maybe sprinkle a little bit of yeast flakes on top of it and some more salsa. And it makes a beautiful dish and it makes it way, way more nutritious. So that's, we're not talking cooking here. It's just having good food at home with you and, and then using it, eating it, preparing it. Sometimes you have to cook it. Sometimes you only have to chop it up. Sometimes just take it out of the fridge and eat it. Uh, so fresh food, whole food, and sweet potatoes, one of my favorites. Mm, yes. uh, they are so nutritious. And here's how easy they are to cook. You cut them up, put them in the oven, and bake them. If you want a little salt, great. I don't put oil on them, nothing. I put some parchment paper underneath them to make cleanup super easy but cut them about the size that you would cut French fries, any kind of fries, and put them in a hot oven, 400, a little more, and cook them till they're tender. And that, for me, that's a whole meal, actually. They're so good and beautiful. And especially if you mix maybe white ones with yellow ones, with purple ones, uh, they're full of fiber and full of nutrition, all kinds of nutrition. And you feel like you've eaten something kind of naughty, which... That's one of my favorite things, you know, being naughty. Um, <laughs> so so I, I want people to understand that eating healthy, eating well is not deprivation. It's not depriving yourself of anything. It's adding to what you're eating, adding color, adding fiber, adding texture, adding variety. That's what you're doing. Just you're eating more, better. That's all. What would you say to the people? Because cabbage is, it was interesting to hear. I would not have expected cabbage. The people that have stomach issues, like what would you say to those people who have stomach issues and you just said cabbage and they can't eat that? Well, they probably can. But what you need to do is take care of your microbiome. And so to begin with, then instead of cabbage, maybe switch out cabbage for a good yogurt. Uh, it can be a goat's milk yogurt or a whole milk Greek yogurt. Things that have uh, fermented foods are fabulous for you. And you don't have to cook them. You just put them on your plate or put them in your glass. And if you're not including fermented foods, kimchi, another favorite of mine, it's great. And it makes a great grilled sandwich, by the way. Really good, healthy bread maybe some goat's milk cheese or your favorite, either vegan cheese or real cheese and kim cheese, put it on a, a you know, the, the, a nice iron flat uh, pan and grill it. It's delicious. Um, sauerkraut, fabulous food. And my new passion, um, kombucha. I'm hooked. Me, me too. I just started doing, my favorite flavor of kombucha right now is ginger berry. Uh, that's, that's my go-to. You get like a huge, I'm not, I'm not crazy about the ginger ones. I love the watermelon ones. The guava is amazing. Uh, but check the label and make sure you're getting real kombucha with live cultures with the only sugar that should be added to it was the sugar to, to put in it, to make it go through the fermenting process, but it should not be very high in calories, 60, 80 calories, maybe for a big jar of it. Mm -hmm. And 
it's fabulous. It's really a treat and it's great for your belly. And once you get your microbiome healthy, cabbage will not be an issue. Um, and I'm not your doctor and um, this is not medical advice, but so many allopathic doctors don't talk about microbiome so much. And it's maybe the most important thing about you feeling good on a day-to-day -day basis and staying healthy. You so, have to have a healthy belly. So one way to help improve the microbiome is to basically, you have to eat healthy food, whole healthy food. So you gave us three foods that you would recommend people buy to start adding in to their meals. So the opposite must be true. 